Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to set up lists in Facebook as well as Twitter. So here's what here's what a list is basically. So here I'm going to go log into my personal profile here on Facebook, right? And you see we have um, you have all these postings, but here's the dilemma that everyone faces with Facebook. So you see here on how you have you know you might have whatever number of friends. I have 870 at this moment. Well, the question is, how the heck do I manage all of them? What if I, what if out of this 870, I have 20 people that are my best friends and maybe 100 people that are leads and then 200 that are clients or something like that whatever the case is how do you manage all this well the easiest way is by making lists and here's what you do go to Facebook or click on face click on the Facebook tab here at the top left after you sign in and now at this point you'll see if you scroll down to where it says more open that up and you'll see this part that says lists well basically on on list the, on this list section click on the word lists and you'll have a list that you'll have a section that comes up just like this all you have to do at this point is click on create a list so I'm gonna name this one test for video and then I click on create and what that does now is that it creates a special list so I click on add a friend so I'm just gonna click on random people that I see in here just for the sake of the example all right and there's two unique things you could do with this list while this is loading so I'm just gonna click on people here okay so all these people are clicked on the it's not really relevant let's pretend this was the whole point so here's what I did so now I made my list and I have my special people in them right so now here's how it works there's two ways that you're gonna use this number one let's say you wanna know what are the updates going on for those people in your list meaning maybe this is maybe this list that I put together are my my, my closest friends or they're the closest people I wanna follow their updates on right so all I do now is when I click under lists here and I click on the name of the list test for video for example it's gonna show me all of their postings only so that way I could weed through the noise it's gonna show me all of their postings only so that's a good way to just stay up to base stay up to date on who you wanna be who you want who you wanna give more special attention to if your Facebook wall um, feed itself isn't doing the job now the second thing is in communicating so let's go now go to my personal profile and you see here under under this update well I could do an update here and then after I, if let's say after I write my text here is my test post well you see here let's say I, I don't want everyone to see this posting maybe I only want a few people to see it you know maybe I want only the people on my on my custom list to see it well now I could do my test post and I could choose who gets to see it so I could click on this button and I could go to my list so I could go test for video so only the people in my special list can see this posting when I hit post and now I'm all set there so it works in two ways number one to manage your communication to to make certain messages go to just to certain people the other one is basically in in um, in of course being able to just uh, create a separate group to keep to, to basically keep up to date with like I showed you a second ago so now this is, this is actually the same exact concept as Google Plus's circles if you're not familiar here's Google Plus if you're not familiar with what circles are, it's the exact same concept. So they call it circles in Google Plus. You know, in um, in Facebook it's called a list, and in Twitter it's called a list. But in certain Google Plus, you click on the circles, and you just make your circles. Then you could do the exact same things I just showed you for Facebook. Now, um, go. Let's go to Twitter though. So here we are in Twitter. So here, how do we make a list? After you log in, click on the button that says Home. And and then uh, I think you already will be there. After that, just click on your personal profile name. So you're here and then click on the one that says lists now at this point it just works the exact same way just click on the button that says create list now give it a name I'll call this you know my test list and then you can make it public or private so I, I want to make this one public so let's say I click save list and now at this point I just start finding people to put in this list let's find them by username so I'm gonna find Tizish so now I just I basically could add Tizish to the list So here I am. After let's say you find someone, you click on their on this button here, and then click on Add or Remove from List. So I want to add Tizish to my test list, and then I just create my list, or I'm not that one. I just add Tizish to the test list, like you just saw. So we go to click on this button here, click on Add or Remove from List, and basically just choose the list you want to add this person to, and you're all set. So that's pretty much how you add people to lists. Now the main reason you want to be making lists is just to manage your communication in effective ways. Without, without having to search through all these status updates. All right? Well, that's everything. Good luck. Take care. Go to facebook.com slash tizish, the way you see it spelled here, to ask any questions. Take care.